The journalist attempting to what? Attempting to track down the mentioned members of his family. Now I'm very interested. See, mean. My, my oh, uh, I guess that is what it means. See, but it's in Norwegian, so it's very. That's. I'm very curious about this. Where'd you hear about this? Um, listening to Come Town, and it's because they were who, talking who about. Who was it, it, Adam? Um, no, I. It might have been Adam. Stav is like going to Greece, and he was asking books that he could read just like sitting on the beach and shit and they brought these, <laughs> sitting uh, on the beach naked yeah, I got I follow him on Instagram like, how the fuck does he got not get nailed on Instagram and I get nailed every fucking time dude I've famous. been I've been taking pictures and then putting the ESG like just drawing like writing ESG just as promotional because I had a picture from a porn a cover of a porn that I saw at a porn at Family Dollar so it's family hello <laughs> in the porn section <laughs> and it had a woman sticking her tongue in it's the weirdest picture because she's looking at the camera like this and her tongue goes stretched down to another girl's mouth and boom the guy, I got nailed so I had to put ESG like in time support group ESG scrawled over it in order to get it on I had another picture I didn't even realize until it was too late that it had a girl's pussy in it but it was art and this was both at the Family Dollar? No, no, the one picture was at the Family Dollar. The other picture I got uh, from this New York Times. They have multiple pornos at the Family Dollar? You ever been to find Family Dollar? They yeah, have I've been porn to the porn fa- section. Not in South Carolina, they don't. <laughs> what the fuck, South Carolina? You've been fucking slacking. I mean, you can't really even. Like... How the fuck is Family Dollar even alive without a porn section? I mean, they got robbed a lot. In fact, actually, did they? I think they all got bought out and taken over by Dollar General. Mm. Now that I think about it, I used to win those gumball things all the fucking time. Gumball, free movie. But they were saying it's really good because it's like super observational and it's like observational comedy without punchlines. So, so it's, it's like, funny? No, but it, like I said, it's like, it's like somebody doing observational comedy but without punchlines. Okay. So it's like. What, you know the way he says things you can connect with and all that shit it just I haven't read a novel I tried to read uh, I tried to read a Thomas Pynchon book I couldn't do it The Crying of, at Lot 40 you've never whatever. read a novel no I've read novels but I haven't read uh, ADHD makes novels difficult to read Oh, dude, I read a lot of poetry and I read yeah, a lot of essays that's a hyperactive thing but I, I have a terrible attention span and like do you ever get your eyes get really heavy when you start reading Oh, yeah, but that happens to everybody. I think that happens to everybody. Because, dude, sometimes I can only read for, like, 20 fucking minutes, and I'm just, like, ready to pass out. I have to read novels twice a lot of times. So if I, so I, I hesitate to invest in one. I read Go Back to Don DeLillo. If it bores me, I just quit. Uh, I read nonfiction a lot. I read a book on 80s movies, and I read that in, like, two... I got... Like, if, you, if you're interested in something, you get hyper-focused. So if it's something really that I really enjoy... You want to read? I read a lot of Pauline Kale reviews. Like Pauline Kale. It's the first time I've heard hipster. Pauline used. Kale? What is that? Some Pauline new, Kale. Some new honey vegetable? She's I don't a know. film Pauline critic from the New Yorker. Kale, I'm trying. She's a, she's a film critic from the New Yorker. No, that's not me. So I read a lot of her reviews. It's the first time I ever heard used a uh, hipster. She called uh, Bill Murray a hipster. This girl. In stripes. This girl um, that I went to high school with had a shirt that said, Die Hipster Scum. And, like, I didn't, I thought, like, hipsters were, like, hippies. Like, it was just another way to say that. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, I learned later. I mean, I don't, I didn't, like, ever ask, like, oh, yeah, I hate hippies, too, or anything like that. That's just what I thought hipsters were. The writer I can read is Norman Mailer. Norman Mailer's nonfiction. Norman Mailer got famous partially by writing an essay called The White Negro that was massively offensive. And um, and that was the first. That's where the origins of the word hipster came from. When I was I moved to Chicago, I was like sitting there. I was like drinking a beer at a leather jacket. This make it was a bar. It was basically a makeout bar called the Continental. And um, this girl came up to me, and I didn't know it was a makeout bar. So I, this apparently this girl was hitting on me, and I didn't know. Makeout bar makes it sound so high school. We went up to Lovers Dude, Lane. Dude, it right was like that. The makeout bar. Dude, it was like that. They had three heavy petting closets. I, I, you sit down. You start talking to a girl. This girl will be the most beautiful girl you've ever seen, and then within two minutes you're making out. It just happens. Dude, I was making out with this girl on a couch, and then she goes, "I gotta go." 
And then I go, you don't have to go. Come on, don't leave. And then she goes, and then she takes my hand and she put it on her stomach. <coughs> and she was eight months, she was eight months pregnant. Get a, get a tissue. You got some stuff on I get from my issues. You got some stuff on your stash. They have yeah. tea. They, they got it all, baby. They have a curry, dude. I could not figure out the science of that paper towel dispenser. That paper towel dispenser was too complicated for me. So anyways, she comes up to me. This girl comes up to me and she goes, Are you a hipster? And I was like, I like jazz. <laughs> so yeah. And and heroin. <laughs> so yeah. Did my friend had to explain? No, that's a whole that's a whole different thing. Because it was a hipster bar that people made out of. Dude, I think it was I a mean, make, with a it girl was a make out a bar. Girl, a girl I knew who had had a boyfriend the whole time I knew her. I guess she had broken up with a boyfriend. We were just sitting there talking and we were both drunk and we made out for a fucking half hour. I mean, dude, all over the fucking bar. But no, no, but there's pen, a no penetration. Another time I went to the bar and there was this girl. She wasn't that cute. But she she was cute, but she was a little chubby. But I was just sitting there rapping with her. She was a makeout bar seven. She literally goes, oh, are we going to make out or what? That's so weird. That's so... Let's go to the makeout bar. It's, That's such a goofy thing. It's got fucking... That place is packed to the hill with cooties. God, that is a fucking... A cooties thing. to happen, dude. <laughs> It's a cooties outbreak one guy, waiting to happen. One guy, like, misreading signals, and a girl just being like, no, you aren't it's the one I want. Like. That place is crazy. You just see people jumping on top of cabs and shit, trying to kick the windshield in. That's so crazy. 